personal care here on The Source. Of course you do. Ocala's Information Station, 1370 WOCA. Ocala! Michael is here to dam- uh, to control your damage. Uh, Joe is from Damage Control Services. And uh, if you have any questions about things that have been damaged, whether it's from water, fire, wind, or something else, uh, feel free to call in. The number is 622-9622. But Joe does have a guest today, so we'll find out what that conversation is going to be about right now. Good morning, Joe. How are you doing? Good morning. I'm doing really good. Are, are you? Is Robert in the picture? Robert is in the okay. picture. Because he's, hi- he, he's hiding clear over there in the corner. What about now? There, there, there you go. Okay. <laughs> right. you, you, you don't have to lean into it. If you okay, don't. I'll, I'll, ma- I'll manage that. From Robert, here. Yeah. Robert Cullen with On Top of the World. He's project manager. We're here. Uh, I brought him in today. We were talking um, about the uh, PACE uh, funding uh, for energy efficient up- upgrades to your home and the uh, program that they have there in evestflorida.com. We had uh, talked to, he had been on the, the air before with Mark, um, who's actually from Pace. Yeah, Mark Pearson. Yeah. yeah, Mark Pearson, which was a show that that was back in... January. Uh, uh, yeah, the very end of January. So uh, wanted to bring him back in. We were, were talking about it on, you know, as, as far as uh, different things again. So um, welcome. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Glad to be here. <laughs> Glad to have you here. So he, like I said, Robert's with uh, On Top of the World, and they have been using this um, for some of the energy efficient upgrades. Why don't you tell us about that as far as what you have used it for at uh, On Top of the World, and, and that way some of the, the listeners can get a, an idea of uh, what they might be able to use it for on their projects. All right. Well, thank you, Joe. Yeah, essentially, let me just explain what the PACE program is. It's a, it's a program that Marion County uh, Commission signed up into, and it's <clears throat> through a interlocal government agency called the Florida PACE Funding Agency, and you can learn about it more at evestflorida.com. And what it does is it allows property owners who are want to make wind mitigation improvements, which is like a roof replacement or shutters, or energy efficiency improvements, uh, like just replacing your air conditioning, uh, replacing windows with uh, new high en- energy efficient windows, Uh, adding insulation to your property and you can instead of financing it through credit card or through borrowing money and if you don't want to use cash it's a way that you could finance it through your property taxes and that way you could pay for it over the life of the project say if it's uh, windows you could pay for it over 25 years and then if any time you want to sell your house or or move away then you don't have to pay anymore it just goes with the property so as I like to say it's it's like borrowing money it's like your house borrowing money or your property borrowing money because it's for commercial as well instead of the person now inside on top of the world what what we were we uh, have encouraged its use is for roof replacements and window replacements and for two reasons mainly Joe the uh, roof replacements we have a lot of property owners who we mandate roof replacements every 15 to 17 years the owners association says it's time to replace your roof we do the roof inspection and then we manage that process now, coming up with five or six thousand dollars to replace your roof can be burdensome to to a person who's a retiree who may have fixed income and this pace program offers them an opportunity to finance it through their property taxes over 15 years and pay $500 a year versus uh, paying right up front $5,000. Um, and it's a great program for people who have commercial buildings. It's a great program for people who own multiple properties. They don't have to borrow their own money. And as you're saying, the one of the things we did inside On Top of the World, we have a an apartment complex, and we borrowed or we used this PACE financing to replace all the windows in it. And instead of having those old jealousy awning windows that you r- crank out, right. we now have brand new windows that are really en- super energy efficient. They're low E, double pane with the argon gas in there. And that was like a $60,000 project that we did through the PACE program. So instead of having Mark here today, we've got you and 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 explaining how this works and and you know I'm, I'm sure some of the homeowners are thinking some of our listeners are thinking okay but I don't live in on top of the world how could I use how what could I do or what would be the steps for me to to get information on this 
Well, anybody can use this program. It doesn't just have to be a homeowner on top of the world. It could be homeowners anywhere in Marion County. Could be, you could have 10 houses or 20 houses. You could be a business owner. You could own the Sears across the way here. And if you wanted to put... So this is available for commercial it's properties right, commercial, as well. Even, even not-for-profits and churches as well. So if you have a church that you need to replace that air conditioning, you can't raise the money right away, you want to put that new air conditioning system or the new roof on there, they can finance it through the PACE program, through this interlocal government agency. And then when they've raised that money, they can pay it all off at one time. And you know it's a great way of getting a project done that maybe you couldn't have afforded before. But it's open to everybody in Marion County and, and in several other counties in, Mar- in Florida. Now, you said uh, we earlier we were talking about this, Mark, and you were, or um, Robert, we were talking about uh, some of the contractors that are approved uh, for this. Uh, how many are there roughly in Marion County? In Marion County, there's roughly 40 contractors. A lot of them are not necessarily based in Marion County, but they're based locally, and they come into Marion County from Orlando, Citrus County, and those places. Uh, I mean, I you know, can go through that there's a lot of roofers, air conditioning companies that are local. Uh, Sun Cool, for one of them, I know is one of them. Um, I know you had mentioned Mike Scott Plumbing. Mike Scott Plumbing is, is signed up. So if you wanted to replace your water heater or, or if you're going to do something else that, that they do that's energy conservation related, then they can do that for you. And Sean was on the, the show with us the last time we did it, uh, talking <coughs> about how they were doing it. So that's, I know I know they were on there. So That's correct. But it's a great program that we see as a way of helping people, especially for, and on top of the world, but especially anywhere in Marion County for uh, retirees who, who don't want to come out of their own pocket and then want to be able to say if they want to walk away from that property in a couple of years, sell it. They're going to go into a nursing home. They want, they're going to move in with other family. They can fix up their property now, improve the, the value of that property by having that new air conditioning, by having the new windows, new, the new roof, and then negotiate that as part of the, the house sale later. Because you're making more on an upgraded property. That's right. Now, what is the the interest rate for this this so, funding? And those interest interest rates fluctuate, but they range between five and a half and seven and a half percent, depending on on the length of, of the term. And I think um, you know that can be high, but then if you're using a credit card, your, your credit card rates could be ten, twelve, fifteen percent, or even higher, I guess. So it really balances it off. And what you're looking for. And the neat thing about the program is it was created to, to help people save money, save money on electric because you're improving the energy efficiency of the house. When you put new windows in, you don't have all that heat coming into your house. When you put a new air conditioning in, you have a much more energy efficient system. Instead of having an old 10 sear unit or even 8 sear unit, you've now got a 15 sear unit. The, the energy efficiency rating of that is much higher. You're using less electricity to produce it. So if you're able to save $50 a month, you're offsetting that whole payment on your PACE program. Okay, so, you know, one of the things that you and I were talking about, um, you know, we mentioned, you know, like our jobs, for example. Sometimes if it's a fire, uh, the insurance is going to pay, you know, to put new insulate, you know, take out the old insulation because it's all smoke damage and whatnot and put new insulation in. And they've got a lump sum, let's just say $2,000 to put new insulation in the house. And I'm just using, just throwing a number out there. Um, and I know this is, insulation is one of the things that PACE will fund. Right. So they could go with, instead of just doing, you know, the blown in insulation or uh, the, the bad insulation, they could even upgrade at that point and, and go with like the... The isonine. The yeah. isonine, yeah. The isonine, which is that foam that, that sticks to the the, <clears throat> uh, the sheeting, and it basically makes your house... I mean, it can really drop your price of that house, your electric bill, 75, 50, 75%, and really eliminate that electric bill as much as possible. I mean, who wants to be paying you know, your your electric company every month when you could be saving that yeah, money? Yeah, yeah. So that's, you know, a, a side point of it there. You know, if you're going to be upgrading, you're going to be doing something, you could get this and go the next level and make it that much better. Wow, that's right. It's a win-win, really. It's, it is a win-win. And uh, this program allows for 100% financing or 50% financing, whatever it is that you want to do. Yeah. Well, that's amazing. Uh, the uh, phone lines are open if you have a question about any of this. Uh, we need to take a little break, but you can call right now and wait through the break or call it when we come back from the break. The number is 622, <coughs> I'm sorry, 352-622-9622. We'll be right back.
The weather is brought to you by MyFWC.com. Safe boating is no accident. It'll be partly sunny today with an afternoon thunderstorm in the area, the high 88 to 92. Partly cloudy tonight with a thunderstorm in the area early on, though 74 to 78. Times of clouds and sun tomorrow with a shower or thunderstorm around, mainly during the afternoon hours, high 88 to 92. For Thursday, clouds will limit sunshine along with a couple of showers and a thunderstorm high 86 to 90. From the Florida Weather Center, I'm meteorologist Joe Lundberg. Good credits, bad credits. It's none of our business because we're not an auto dealer. We're not a bank. We're not your mother. We're OcalaForSales.com. Marion County's marketplace for cars, trucks, and SUVs. We've got thousands of sellers standing by to take your call. No middleman. But hurry, don't walk, don't run. Just sit down and log on to OcalaForSale.com. License and inventory change daily. Offer does not include dealer up charge. Undercutting rust proofing factory surcharge or delivery fee. See website for details. Do you have areas that have started sagging or drooping? Is what you're looking at not quite the same as it was years ago? Are there enhancements you've been putting off? Is there serious damage you need fixed? Then call on us, Damage Control Services. When your roof is sagging and the drywall is drooping after a storm, or your home just needs some enhancements from damage repairs to new construction, Damage Control Services is here to help. I'm Leah Caruso with Strive Rehabilitation, inviting you to join me Thursday at 11 a.m. for Health Matters. Ocala Health and Strive have teamed up to bring you the latest information on good health services available to you right here at home. This vital information will help you make informed decisions about your health. So don't forget to join me here at 11 a.m. Thursday. It's news you can use from Ocala Health, Strive, and your friends here at WOCA. Hi, I'm Seth with AA Lock, Dock, and Security. Have you ever thought about the locks or security on your house or business? Have you ever wondered why the keys to your new car cost so much? Well, at AA Lock, Dock, and Security, we can help with securing your valuables. We can even replace those expensive transponder keys. We can give you the knowledge that no one else will. Call AA Lock, Dock, and Security at 867-1965. That's 867-1965. One of the most common questions those nearing retirement are asking, will I outlive my money? Retirement questions like these and many more will be answered every Saturday morning at 9 a.m. on planning for a better and safer retirement with hosts Francois and Julian Pozenet. Francois and Julian will help you put your retirement puzzle together. Catch planning for a better and safer retirement Saturdays at 9 a.m. on Ocala's News Talk, the source 96.3 FM and 1370 a.m. All right, 85 degrees, 12 minutes before 11 o'clock. Let's return to damage control with Joe Reichel. Joe? Hello. We're back. <laughs> so we were just, one of the things we were talking about was lighting, LED lighting. LED lighting, yeah. That's uh, It's a big way of saving money, especially in places where you have uh, the lights on all the time. And two, two of the reasons why it saves money is one, um, your old, uh, I forget what they're called, the, uh, your old lighting, they used to create a lot of heat. So if you're in a house and you've got, you want, you got a, you know, the old lights on, they're, they're causing heat to be generated as well as using the money for the wattage that it creates when you spend, when you've got the lights on. And if you drop to an LED light, it creates almost no heat. And then you drop less usage for your air conditioning as well. But it, the big place for LED lighting is, is right, like right here in a parking lot for, um, for this mall. I mean, you just think about it. These old uh, metal halide lights, they use something like 1,000 watts each. And the LED lights are using like 250 watts. Wow. So they say the payback period on, on LED lighting is something like 18 months to two years. And you think about that, that's a, that's a tremendous, amount of, tremendous amount of savings when it comes to like just Something a huge, gi- giant like huge this parking lot light. Or even the, the mall itself, if you think about how much power can be saved by, by switching away from uh, even fluorescent lightings and going to LED, which use so much less electricity. And LED lights last longer also, right? Sure. They I might. mean, they cost a little more in the, the initial, but right. they last years longer. Right. I, I have a friend of mine, uh, <coughs> Sandy Lichterman. He sells LED lighting for a company, I think Tri-State LED. And he was telling me that he's got churches that, that go to LED lighting just not because they're going to save that much money in electricity because they don't have it on so much, but they don't have to spend the money to get a lift out there to change the lighting out. These LED lights should last 10, 15 years without ever having oh, to wow. change it. Wow. So it, it's, that's a good deal. 
and, and and that's something that can also be funded through PACE as well for, I wouldn't say a homeowner should do that, but, but certainly like a lot of the businesses, especially the big companies like those old big boxes, like uh, Signature Brands that has that big building here, that's, right. that's a good place for some kind of LED lighting if they don't have it already. You know, they run 24 hours a day, I think, there. Right. Yeah, any of the, the businesses that are open, like the like uh, the Star Banner. The Star Banner, probably. They, <laughs> they would be open all the time, too. Yeah, right. so. And they should be switching over to LED if they haven't already. Yeah. Almost all the big stores. Can I ask a question about the big bulbs? Are they big, or are they lots of little ones? The LEDs? Yeah. I think they're lot. I don't know enough about the makeup of okay. that. But okay. Yeah, so, like, if you have LED headlights, it's not one bulb like we have right. now. It's uh, lots of little ones. Yeah, that that's you should bring an LED expert on. Uh, <laughs> a little bit of light. We'll, we'll talk lighting. We'll have an electrician on. Yeah, uh-huh. have an electrician, have somebody. So, <clears throat> just to, to recap, uh, for, you know, like you guys, I mean, you're your preferred contractor for through the um, through the program, right on top of the world. So predominantly, you guys are using it for uh, roofing, uh, windows, roofing windows, and then a lot of people ask us about air conditioning as well. And we okay. usually refer the air conditioning out to other people, but we can certainly do. Uh, and and I'm, we don't typically work outside on top of the world, but uh, you, you know it's a program that we support and we believe in. That's why I'm here today. And it, it, it's something that, that uh, air conditioning is a big thing for people. It's because you have to have air conditioning. And if you, can, if you, need a trouble, if you have trouble financing it, this is a great program for you. And, and you can learn more about it at evestflorida.com. And, you know. I know there's, uh, on there, there's a, a list of contractors uh, on the on the dot com, right. on evestflorida.com. So if you were, were interested in, uh, getting some type of work done as a homeowner, you could go on there and you could get um, see who was approved as the vendors for those different type of things. Right, and if you have a contractor that you like to use, if there's an air conditioning guy you like to use or window guy, then certainly you can have them sign up for it. it mm-hmm. It's a fifty dollar fee, but you get a nice banner ad, and they just make sure that you're not a contractor that's had all kinds of problems. And if you've you've, you've been a respectable contractor. Then you sign up, and then they refer business to you. I have a, a guy, uh, David Shira, who does a, a solar with ECS Solar out of Gainesville, and they've gotten jobs out of. They've gotten quite a few leads out of this program just going on their website. <coughs> you mentioned solar. Let's talk about that a little All bit. All right. What are some of the uh, things that, as far as a solar upgrade, that a homeowner could could use? Well, I mean, obviously, or, or why would that be beneficial? Well, that's, that's a better question. Yeah, there's really a couple of reasons why solar is a good investment right now. One thing is solar panels are are really inexpensive compared to where they were several years ago. They're down to for a good quality panel, you're looking at three dollars and twenty five cents a watt. And on uh, on an energy efficiency house, you might you know eighteen hundred square feet, you might be looking at uh, six or seven thousand watts of electricity, seven kilowatts to basically make your house zero energy on a on a older less energy efficient see a house uh, you might be looking at 10 to 12 kilowatts and that's so you're looking at $30,000 and you could pay off all your electric for the next 25 years basically make your house a zero energy home and even produce energy back to the power, back to the grid and what that does is you, you got two things going on with with seco energy with duke energy they uh, they have a rate where they charge for residential you char- you pay about 11 cents a kilowatt hour and then once you hit above 1000 kilowatts it goes up to 13 cents so now you've you've taken that away you've but just by putting solar on you've reduced your energy consumption and also they have a requirement to pay you back for the energy you produce for the system so it's called net metering and then they they pay you back so if you produce more electricity than than you created that month you may actually make some money off of the deal now you still have those base fees that you pay but Still, you know, there's a lot of benefit to doing solar that may not have been there five years ago because the prices were so much higher. Yeah, they were higher prices and they weren't as efficient. Um, the the materials or, or whatnot, they weren't they weren't doing as good of a job as the ones are today. That's right. You guys have a phone call. Excellent. Uh, good morning. You're on the air. Yes. Good morning, man. Good uh, morning. With the solar panels uh, on your roof, uh, two questions. Uh, do they kind of like maybe like attract lightning, and are they noisy during hailstorms? 
Uh, well, we've have uh, just that on top of the world. Uh, we have quite a few homes that have solar. We have two buildings that have uh, solar. That you know, a lot of solar actually, and we've never had an. Uh, you know, I'm not going to say that, but <laughs> not not going. We to to this moment, we haven't had any lightning strikes or haven't had an issue, and they are designed to actually withstand a lot of uh, debris hitting them. So. Uh, we haven't had too many hailstorms in the last couple of years, but I know that the people who've had them haven't had any problems. And a lot of that can be, you're just replacing one or two panels, I don't think is terribly expensive. Are, are those solar, solar panels, are they like grounded for lightning? No, I think everything is grounded for lightning, and they, they should be grounded right into your UFA rod. But I think if you get a direct hit, for, no, I don't think there's a whole lot that's going to protect anything. No, that's oh, I was, I, and, and speaking of that, I was reading a, uh, an article yesterday in the Village newspaper that it was forwarded to me, and they've had, uh, I think, I think it was like six homes have been hit in the last 14 months. Um, six homes have caused some damage in the villages. Is that right? Wow. So, wow. I mean, there's, you know, we <laughs> live in a, an area where there's lots of lightning, so right, if you right. get that direct hit, there's not much that can is going to help that but that's where you know some of the lightning protection systems are, are you know definitely worth having uh one thing you mentioned robert was the shutters uh storm shutters and so i'm going to check into that for us uh and what we do uh being that we are right in the middle of uh hurricane season right now it'd probably be worth uh checking into that and knowing the different options that are out there yeah the storm shutters certainly are a wind mitigating factor for your house and they can reduce your insurance uh, premiums that you pay so it is a way of, of putting on something that that can protect your house but also help you save money and through your insurance so we've only got a, a few minutes <coughs> left here I want to uh, thank you Robert for for coming in uh, give us that information it's evest yeah evest e-v-e-s-t florida.com and you can learn all about the program and the Florida Pace Funding Agency and look for any contractors that you're interested in excellent Excellent. So uh, thank you very much, Thanks, Robert. Joe. Thanks, Larry. Thanks for coming in and uh, appreciate uh, uh, you coming. Appreciate the information you shared and and uh, all the work that, that you're doing out there to make On Top of the World one of the, the premier communities that we have in Marion County. Well, I appreciate that. And just just to throw you a bone, we, we had a, a, <laughs> a homeowners association takes care of a lot of the issues, and we had a, a house fire. We brought damage control out there to do it to do the repair and they did an excellent job oh, nice. we were really pleased with their quality nice. of work and their attentiveness to to everything that we were that we requested so robert and, and joe we have uh, another call and we've got like two minutes so if two minutes s- squeeze in a final call good morning you're on the air uh good morning gentlemen uh another thing that's pretty uh, effective is these uh solar powered attic vent uh, fans. Yes. And uh, they don't run your electric bill up, and yet they keep that, you know, they evacuate that extremely hot air in the airspace between your ceiling and the uh, shingles. Yeah, and that's... And I, I uh, highly recommend that one. Yeah, that's a, a great recommendation. That's a lot of times people, when they're putting on uh, new roofs on homes, that they're going ahead and roofers are installing these type of, of vents. I don't know if that's something you guys do out there at all. or We, we don't do that. We, we like those kind of solar vents. I don't know what you're talking about. I think sometimes you got to be careful with the product you put in. You want to make sure you're putting in something that's going to last more than a year. There have been some complaints about that, but, but the higher-end quality ones that aren't that expensive... Uh, can can reduce your energy bill because they're getting all that heat out of your attic, you're right, and then you're not paying for it to produce energy because it's solar. So, yeah, that is a good idea. So if you have any other uh, questions, make sure you check out that website, evest, uh, E-V-E-S-T, Florida, all spelled out, dot com, and uh, you can get more information on that, or you can uh, contact one of us even, my contact information, joe at damageflorida.com, 352-817-6574. Thanks again, Robert. Thank you, Joe.
Broadcasting from the Paddock Mall Studios, this is WOCA, Ocala, Gainesville, The Villages, 1370 AM, 963 FM, The Source. Fox News Radio, I'm Lillian Wu. 23 people arrested after a night of violence.